Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, Lord? I will exalt your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, Ah, render to you, Ah, I render praise. I I lend a praise to you, Lord. I will exalt your name and shout hallelujah. I lend a praise to you, O Lord. I Hallelujah. We send the honor to you, O Lord. What will you render? Hey. To you, Lord, we lend a clapping to you, O Lord. We lend a clapping, we lend a Hallelujah, we render hallelujah, 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 we render hallelujah to you, Lord. Ah, hallelujah to oh, your holy name. We render hallelujah to you, oh Lord. Hallelujah, oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving, we render thanksgiving, we render thanksgiving to you, O Lord. Go away, thank you, Lord, forever in our life. We render thanksgiving to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, O Lord. Dancing, hey, we render dancing, we render dancing to you, Lord. We will exalt your name and dance to you, Lord. We render dancing to you, oh Lord. What about you? I render dancing, hey, hey. Amen. Amen. 
We render him to you, O Lord. Go away, just on me, and that amen. We render him to you, O Lord. We render him to you, Hallelujah. We render hallelujah finally to you, Lord. We will exalt your name and shout a big hallelujah. We render alle- hallelujah to you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to you, Lord. Ancient of days, the one that was, the one that is, the one that is forevermore. Thank you for everything given to us. Our soul, our life, our body, our breath, our eyes, our ear, our tongue, everything that embedded in our system, liver, kidney, everything, blood and water, everything that you have given unto us. We thank you. We bless you. We adore you. Thank you for every week preservation. We are already in another week. We count our number. None is missing. And none shall be missing. Lord Almighty, by strength shall none of us prevail. Mm. It is by your holy name that we can do all things. Accept everything we have done and we are about to do tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it be well with us. Amen. May we never encounter trouble. Amen. Trouble will not encounter us. Amen. We shall be made whole. Body, spirit, and soul, we shall be made whole. And our tomorrow shall be all right. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Amen. Glory, honor be to your name. Amen. Jesus, merciful name, we are prayed. Amen. If we are happy, shout, 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 hallelujah. Amen. We are welcome tonight. Only you, Lord Almighty, can keep us and can do what no man can do. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This evening, we want to conclude what we started yesterday. You know, we are talking about accelerated speed in the church yesterday. And uh, today, God wants to move faster than our expectation on that accelerated speed. And the Lord will have his way in our life in the name of Jesus. We have said a lot of things for almost two hours yesterday. But let's go ahead to conclude this night. And I told us to bring our anointing oil plus fresh bottled water. Fresh bottled water. So that the Lord will perfect a new thing in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. O God Almighty, arise and grant Adirin Allah accelerated speed. O Lord, arise and grant me accelerated speed and grant me accelerated speed. Mm. You see, for God to arise and accelerate somebody's speed in life, number one thing you must do is when you must step aside and allow God to take the speed for you. Hello? Bye. Because in the book of Romans 9.15, you say, I will have mercy on who I will have mercy upon. You say, I have compassion on who I will have compassion upon. You say, it's not the will of the one that runneth that is 
not you that want to speed, but God Almighty that do what? Uh -huh. So the Lord Almighty will take the speed for you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. What again now need to be done to get that accelerated speed is hard work. Hard work. Not many believers want to work, but they want to spend money. They want to spend money, but they don't want to work. It's all as the driver of the church today that we ask to come and take his duty post for 5.30 today. And he uh, was being briefed last night by both the manager, by my wife, everybody. And we told him 5.30 is 5.30. When it was 10, 20 minutes to 6, when we didn't see him, I took my private car. We went to where we were supposed to go to. On getting to Lagos, he was now calling us. I didn't pick the phone at all because I don't think he's ready to work. The person that wants to work must be at his duty post. And the excuse he gave to my wife was very simple. He said to my wife that uh, he never knew that the alarm of his phone was late by about one hour. Glory, glory, glory be to Jesus. May you never late to your destiny. Amen. When you look at the book of Proverbs 22-29, you see, when you see a diligent, hard-working man, they say we don't start stand before king. Not me, men, and even king. He will stand before king of kings there, the Lord will see him and welcome him, my good son. Not mere men, not even kings of presidents of Nigeria we are talking about. The one that is of the spiritual realm, because the spiritual they control the physical. What again do you do when you that as a first feed is be properly properly located? Position yourself to be located. Somebody was crying to Jesus. That son of David, have mercy on what? I mean, if you never located himself, he will never be seen. There was somebody, Nicodemus, you know what he did? They took him through the roof, broke the roof to see Jesus' location. I pray for you. You'll be physically and spiritually located in the name of Jesus. Amen. Again, another thing is that you must be properly aligned to receive from God. Most of you that have a car, you know, they, when you buy a new car, you are a new tire to your car, they say you should go and do an alignment. What's the reason why you must do an alignment so that the tire will not wear what? Wear out. But some of you, you are not properly aligned to receive anything good from God. Some of you, your look, will not make you to be fit for God to see you. Some of you, your approach, some of you, the way you talk, and some of you, may the Lord have you mercy, pride, arrogancy. The Lord will show mercy on us mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's very, very important that you must watch your mind. Watch your mind as a man thinketh, so he is. And the bold word of the Lord said clearly there. He said, out of the abundance of art, the mouth will what? Speak. Adeni Ola, yo darafuo. Adeni Ola, yo darafuo. Adeni Ola, bonu wati mbe eto mbe la ye. Adeni Ola, yo darafuo. I don't know about you. No, darafuo. Adeni Ola. Adeni Ola, Adeni Ola, Adeni Ola. Don't be lying. Thank you for putting Adeni Ola. Adeni Ola, yo, Darafu. Thank you, ma. You said Adeni Ola shall be well with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Another thing is that you have to be confident and expectant. Some of you, you are timid. Where you are supposed to be blessed, you draw back. Where are supposed to go and meet your super girl? Can I find when you are at crossroad? You use your head knowledge. It does not matter. Let me bama. Let me yima. Uh -huh. 
and you bama and you ma, and you find out that when you are doing your defense, they will tell you what type of Alan nonsense is this. You now begin to rink and rinkant. Eba be one, Esha ba be one, let me beg them. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you. I'm telling you the truth. May you accept the truth in the name of Jesus. Let me beg them. After you have done your evil, you now begin to say, Help me beg them. Help me beg, brother Atiba. Help me beg him. That man, help me beg him. May the Lord show, me, show you mercy. In that. Another thing you need to do is to be aggressive in faith. You needed it. Hebrew 11 6 said clearly that it is impossible to please God without what? Faith. Another thing is you must be a dedicated, added prayer person. Dedicated, added prayer person. That is, let prayer be your watchword. Another thing you must do is to ensure that your heart is right with God. Don't doubt God. That all shall be well with you. Don't doubt Him. If you told Paul the day, beg God, Allah be a day If you told today, be alone, can say at a Kabama, yeah, man, let's say. Yes. Where you have got to, some people have not got there. You've got admission, you've been in university, maybe you're in final level, maybe you're in 300 level, you're in 200. Some people have not even got admission. And you that you have got, I pray for you, may the ladder not scatter under your leg. Amen. I know what I'm saying. Watch out your mouth, what comes out of your mouth as a confession. Honestly, you must know the word of God in and out of season. What do I say? In and out of what? Season. But there's something we call different way God can accelerate a life. Like I told you yesterday, I was going to talk on that. There's a various way God can accelerate a life. Number one is true miracle. I was telling us yesterday. I know by miracle of God, your debt that you are owing can be cancelled. Yeah. And some of you, because you are not in your debt, you can't say amen. amen. I say your debt, they say to debt, shall be cancelled. Not only miracle again, God can make it such a way that He will deliver you from inherited problem Amen. that has nothing to show for your life. Amen. I told us last night, and you thought I was joking. I said, May the Lord Almighty help us eh, to clear every spiritual debt of our forefathers hanging on us. Amen. Some of you don't know that you are suffering for the sin of your four, four, four fathers. When you ask some people, why do you forget this thing? You say, I don't know. That has been the origin of your forefathers' problem. Till now. I said, God help you to pay that debt. And your boss said clearly, we say, okay, me, Paul. Me only Satan. They say, oh, pay me for me only Satan. To go, see, best, see, bear. Oh, she wants him only, she. Emma, she, oh, Baba. The Lord will pay all our debts in the name of Jesus. Again, God can do it by giving you breakthroughs in your career, in your profession. In your academics, financially, all around, you just find out that you turn to the right, you are blessed. Amen. You turn to the left, you are blessed. Amen. Ahead of you is blessing. Amen. Behind you, blessing is running after Amen. you. And again, God can also do it by marrying you to the right person. What do I say? Marrying you to the right person. Ah, God, I thank you that I did not miss the road. Lord, I thank you because I have not missed the road. Lord, I thank you because I didn't miss the road. Lord, I thank you because I have not missed the road. Ah. Those that are not married, I bless all of you. I thank God for all of you because you will not miss the road. Amen. Because there are some people that are here. They look at life that is life is stereotype. Life is never a stereotype. Life is 
according to time and purpose, chance and opportunity. At times somebody will meet their life partner and close their eyes and say, no, this one is not my life partner. And he will walk away. And another person will catch up with the person. That's the end of the story. May you, Sister Muyolua, be able to identify your life partner in the name of Jesus. I decree again, Sister Muyolua, may you never miss your life partner in the name of Jesus. You know, people will be saying, Brother Atiba, are you ready? What you don't know is that I am ever ready. Eh? I am ever ready and God is ready with us. So I don't know about you. If there's anybody here that is trusting God that he will marry someday, somehow, whether you are a male, you are a female, or whoever you are, may you never miss the person that God ordained for you in the name of Jesus. Well, begin to laugh. It's a laughter matter. Yes, 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 begin to laugh. It's a laughter matter. Laugh, 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 laugh. Yeah, la, la, I like your laughing. I am laughing. What are the enemies of divine acceleration? We have enemies. If you want to gain speed, sin will always come your way, number one. Something will want to make you to break the edge. And when you break the edge, you abort the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus, I will not abort the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus, I will not abort the goodness of God. Some again, at times, it can be our disobedience. Because the Bible says clearly, and you can see that one in Isaiah 1, 19 and 20, it says, if you are willing and obedient, you will enjoy the good of what? Okay. The land. Another thing is some of us ignorance. We'll say a 4, 6. My people perish because they do what? May you never lack knowledge. Mm. Some of us, it is stinginess. Akagom. Eh? You know yourself. You better begin to pray to God to remove the spirit of Akagom in your life. And some of you, again, it could be amputation power. And this amputation power will allow you to lose a lot of things in life. May you never lose your own mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Another one is evil monitoring spirit. They destroy good things before they are manifested. Somebody, I promise you, will give you something tomorrow and before you know it, you commit a great error before the end of that day and that will be the end of the, the blessing. Somebody about to bless you. And again, incomplete deliverance is a problem again. Some of you are, are having partial deliverance instead of complete deliverance. And I know there are people that are also having doubt and unbelief. God will take that one away from your life. Yeah. And bad company should never come your way to don't fraternize with the enemy of God. And some of you, failure to identify with Jesus is another problem. And uh, some of you, you are depending on self that you can do all things. Yes, instead of you to depend on God. And some of you, you are prayerless. Prayerlessness is your problem. And you can't receive anything except you what? Pray. And some of you, is ingratitude. You will never say thank you to people that are helping you. It's a sin. In fact, it's even a crime eh, to say thank you to those that are helping you. And the more you don't say thank you to those that are helping you, the more you go down into the pit. Your Bible say, Bomawa Kimi. Like somebody came to the church yesterday. Give a daughter to upgrade the son to my daughter. And Baba Udufuwa saw the daughter in the hand of uh, my daughter. Just because of that, the man tried and said, Oh, are you the owner of the said, No, this is the mother of the baby. And they were being blessed. You two shall be blessed in the name of mm-hmm. Jesus. <laughs> How do you now secure divine acceleration and speed? Give your life to Christ. Repent of your whole sin, crucify your flesh, listen to the word of God, be prayer addict that we say, resume with your enemy, engage in purposeful fasting, redeem whatever value you might have made,
pay your tithe and offering if God has given you the grace to be able to do that with your seed. And from there, you now see what we call effect of accelerated divine speed. How do you know that? I know prosperity will be running after you. Uncommon favor will be running after you. Amen. Uncommon breakthrough will be running after you. Amen. God will make you the head, not ever to be the tail. Amen. God will make you, make you to be above only, not beneath. Amen. Your head will be anointed with favor. Amen. Above all your peers, Amen. you will be the right target Amen. that for goodness of God. Amen. The calendar of God and plan for God of God and plan of God for your life will come to pass. Amen. You will reach your divine destination. Amen. Backwardness and emotion will be arrested in your life. Amen. Then arresters of the arrestors that are run to arrest you shall be stopped. Amen. God will rewrite your family story Amen. and your history. Amen. God will put you in the right place Amen. at the right time. Amen. And on common success, you will experience this. Amen. The finger of God will be evident in your life. Amen. You will recover from every wasted years. Amen. And your blessing shall must multiply. Amen. It shall manifest. Amen. And God Almighty will bless you all year round. Amen. And your family shall, and your generation will be forever blessed. Amen. Now, let us do the assignment for tonight. Bring out your water. Open it. Bring out your water. Open it. Bring out your water and open it. Santari ma yeke sentuba. Yerima. Bring out your anointing oil. Top it up on, on the water until you get to the brim of the bottle water. Use your hand to pour the oil on the water until you get to the brim. You know what they call the brim? The brim means the top of the water. Get to the brim. Yeah, 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 let's, let's be fast. Top it to the top, to the brim, because your joy must get to the brim. Let it get to the brim. Huh? Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Get it to the brim. It's an instruction. It's a spiritual instruction. And if you like, you don't take it to the brim. No wala. No wala. It will still work. Take it to the brim, ma. To the brim. Zere ma ye ka ye ke sento re ma ka ye ke sento ba. Okay. God bless you, ma. God bless you, sir. Are we ready? You sure? It's okay for you, ma. You are slowing us down. Because we said to the brim. May you be able to follow spiritual instruction. Mm -hmm. Mm. Whatever you put is what you want to receive. The Lord will help brother Atiba. Now this water, I will give you instruction at the end of what we want to do now. But I want you to concentrate on what I want to do. Uh, I read the book of Romans for you that time, Romans 9.16, I read it to you. That I said, so then it's not of the one that is willing or the one that run it, but of God and the one that do or show mercy. God today will show mercy to you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you with this water in your hand, which you have, this water in your hand. I've seen many people in life listening to me. I've seen many people in life in my lifetime that I know that they wanted a serious encounter with God. But they never had any encounter. They needed it. They cry for it. They want it. But Allah will fool one. God did not allow them. Because if God will not want anybody to encounter him, he will not allow him. He's the only one that can allow his spirit to enter and do what he needs to do with this oil and water in connection together. 
Because some people will say, I'm doing it to fulfill the righteousness. Because brother Atiba say, I should do it. No. No, no, no. God wants to give you an encounter with him tonight. Amen. And you have that encounter. Amen. I've seen many people in my lifetime of deliverance, listen carefully, that they will be set free of known and unknown bondages. Both the one they know and the one they do not know, God has been able to set them free. And also, I've seen many people trying with their energy. They will pray in the church. Water will be deep, deep, dripping down of their body with a lot of energy. But at the end of the prayer, nothing will happen. Nothing will show for it. I pray for all of you. Your own will not be like that tonight in the name of Jesus. My desire for you, with everything that you have done tonight, is for God to crown all your effort with speed and with results Amen. in the shortest possible time and safest time in the name of Jesus. Amen. Speed is very, very important. What do I say? Speed is what? Important. If you look at the book of uh, Genesis 24, 12, I will read for you of uh, there. He said, O Jehovah God, my master, I pray you, send me good speed this day and show kindness to Adeniola, to Mosumala, to Moyolua, to Joshua, amen. to Okwemipo, to Wind of Chain, amen. to Bless Generation, amen. to everybody say amen in the name of amen. Jesus. And you will receive that encounter tonight. Amen. And I expect you tonight to believe God for that encounter. You see, Mordecai was a gate man. I think you know Mordecai was a gate man. But he took the grace of God that fell on Esther to become queen when Vasi made a terrible mistake. And Esther made a request from the king. And the request she made was to bring Mordecai from being a gate man to now ride on us. I proclaim to all of you tonight, whatever you use this water for, after tonight's program, may you encounter goodness and mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. And God says, I should tell you, if your amen is three, if your amen is three, that he will upgrade your speed as forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 He said, I should tell you again, if your amen is three again, that every divine help us that you require for you to have speed, wherever they are, they will locate you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 He said, I should tell you that this water and oil, he said from today, if your amen can be three, that you will get to the new level of your joy. Amen. Not only amen. the level of your joy, that you will begin to be reckoned all over the world in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 If your amen can be three again, the Almighty said, I should tell you that your position of authority shall never be contested again in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen to me. If you are in the US, if you are in Adwekiti, if you are in the UK, if you are in Kalaba, I don't know where you are tonight. Let me tell you clearly. God said to me, Brother Atiba, Brother Atiba, Brother Atiba, if the amen of your members tonight can be three, big solid one, he said, he will bless the work of your hands. Amen, amen, amen. He said, I should tell you, all of you, if your amen can be three, on this platform, 
that if there is any missing destiny in your life, if there is any missing achievement, if your amen can be louder in threefold, he said they will show up speedily in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 He said, I should tell you that because of this water and oil you are carrying today, tonight, he said, I should tell you, your amen is just only one now. He said, I should tell you, you will be connected to your divine helpers. Amen. He said, you'll be connected to your divine supporters. Amen. You'll be connected to your divine invectors. Amen. You'll be connected to your divine counselors. Amen. You'll be connected to your divine advisors. Amen. You'll be connected to your divine comforters. Amen. And they shall be waiting for you. Amen. He said, I should tell you, the water you are carrying, he said, it's a water of solution. Amen. And God said to Abraham clearly, Oh God, when Abraham cried to God, he said, don't worry yourself, I will give you speed. Mm. And there was a promise made in Psalm 127 verse 1, because all of us are children of God. He said it clearly, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain, those that do what? Build it. God said, I should tell you, tonight, 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 yes. if your amen is three, if your amen is three, if your amen is three, no more struggle in your life in the name of amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Your amen is one time now. One, one time, one, one time, one, one time. The Lord say, I should tell you, it will build your life. Amen. It will build your home. Amen. It will build your career. Amen. It will build your businesses. Amen. It will assist you. Amen. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh. First Corinthians 3 7 said it clearly. Neither is he who that planted anything, nor he who water, but God who give what? Increase. Amen. Not only that, that Colossians 3 8 now went on to say. So he he planting and in water at one, and each other one shall receive his own and reward according to his own labor. God say, I should tell you, if your amen can be three, if your amen can be three, you will receive increase before the end of March in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 He said, I should tell you again, your amen is one this time around, this time around that there will be covenant speed and reward for you and your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, I should tell you with one amen from you, that whatever you plant from now on in the kingdom will never die in your hand. Amen. He said, I should tell you that every ego not to achieve speed is cancelled now. Cancelled now. Cancelled now. Amen. He said, I should tell you Everything that you have known from the early part of your years and you've been seeing it and you want to achieve, you can't get it. You've been seeing people drive buying car, you can't buy. You've been seeing people buying uh, buying old houses, you can't buy. You've been seeing people having degree, you can't get. You've been seeing people marrying, you have not married. You've been seeing people having children you don't have. He said, with this water and oil today, if your amen can be three solid one, whatever your hindrance, the Lord Almighty we grant you accelerated speed for recovery in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And I pray for you. And this is going to be the last amen and that will be seven for you. He said I should tell you with this allowed seven amen you continually to see continuous breakthrough. Amen. 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 And so
So, Father, we thank you for tonight. Thank Father, you. we bless you, Almighty. We've done what you asked us to do. Yes, and you have used our mouth to prophesy into all this water and oil. Daddy, I pray. Grant each and every one of us uncommon testimony in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord Almighty, you have asked us to do all this and we have done so. Lord, I pray. Let there be a turnaround for good things in our lives, our career, businesses, and home in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, set us free. Amen. King of glory, set us free. Amen. Lord Almighty, move us forward. Amen. Lord Almighty, that that you have done for us, you told us to trust and obey you. Mm. Lord, we continually to trust and obey you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it be well with us. Mm. Let it be well with our finances. Mm. And at the end of everything, we will glorify your name. Amen. Bless Brother Atiba. Amen. Bless Sister Atiba. Amen. Bless all the children. Amen. Let it be well with them. Amen. Whatever we lay our hand upon, Lord Almighty, we shall flourish. Amen. And that we pray. Collectively and jointly together, bless all of us in the wind of change in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before the end of March, mm. single us out one by one for our testimony. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory and honor be to your name. Alleluia. Jesus, wonderful name, we are praying. Amen. Jam your hands together for Jesus. The Lord said, you should cover the water with the oil now. Cover it. Then... Turn it upside down. Turn it upside down. Let it be so that you can see the oil at the bottom of the water. Now that you can see the oil at the bottom of the water, then automatically the next thing you will do is to shake it very well. Shake it very well. Shake, 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 shake. So what you do, this water is very, very simple. Huh? Take half of it as a leisure tomorrow, not tonight. Tomorrow. What do I say? Tomorrow. And when you have taken the half for leisure, after you have shaken it, you can finish it in one minute, you can finish it in 30 minutes, you can finish it in three hours, the half. Then the remaining half, you use it tomorrow night, not tonight, to bath. Congratulations. To do what? To bath. The Lord will bless you. So the first thing you do is brush your teeth in the following morning, tomorrow. Begin to take it to get to half. The remaining half, you use it to bath before you sleep tomorrow night. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, Lord, goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And we shall join the house of the Lord forever and ever. Good night.